Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part five of the Mark II 18T build, and we're going to be moving on to the 18T engine. So just like how we started with the body taking off all the crap we don't need, in today's video we're going to be taking off your secondary air pump, the combi valve, the PCV system, the EVAP, and the AC. So this is going to be everything you need to know to get up to speed about taking all the crap off your 18T engine. <laughs> I had to do it. I love you James. Alright, here we go guys. So the first thing you're gonna wanna find out is your engine code. This is a AWP 18T, so if you have a different engine code, things are gonna be in different locations. So this engine is straight out of a Mark IV, and it, I haven't touched yet, so everything on it is gonna be exactly the same as you guys have gotten it. And my engine was in a car that was wrecked, so I'm gonna be replacing the alternator and taking off the ACs to get some of the clutter out of the way so we can see some of the stuff we're gonna be taking off the engine. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking off the tensioner to get to the alternator, and then I'm gonna take the AC off. And if you guys are using your stock Mark II steering pump, you can take off your steering pump as well. Okay, so the tensioner is a 13 mil. The alternator bolts again are 13. You have a couple clips on the back you need to get. So 16 millimeter to get the AC off. Okay, so we got the alternator off, the AC, and now we're gonna be taking off the Mark IV steering pump. And we're gonna need um, the six millimeter to take off the wheel. And you're gonna need this to put on your Mark II pump. It's a 13 millimeter to take off the bolts from the Mark IV pump. So the first thing we're gonna be taking off is your SAI or your secondary air pump. And that's this right here. It's got a bracket with three Allen bolts we're gonna be taking off. But first we're gonna follow this up here. There's gonna be two more Allen bolts to take off. And this line usually extends all the way to your combi valve, which we're gonna be taking off next. Wow, that was in there tight. Okay, so your secondary air pump usually had a hose going into the combi valve. So now that we have the secondary air pump off, we have all the hosing off, this is the combi valve. This is what we're gonna be taking off next. Um, to, do, to get to it easier, we're gonna be taking off this piece uh, right here, uh, these two bolts, and then we'll move on to taking off the combi valve. Taking off the coolant flange, so it's a 10 mil. So next we need to get all of the hard lines off and you can just cut the hose at the end because we're going to be taking off the other side too. Okay, so if you, if you take that off with the combi valve, it's fine. I was just trying to do it one at a time for you guys. So now that we have the combi valve and the hard lines out of there, I'm gonna be coming back later and cleaning this all up. And this port right here where the combi valve came off, you're gonna to need to buy this block off plate that I'll have a link down below. And we're gonna be putting that block off plate right there. And then for the coolant flange, I'm gonna be using an aluminum one instead of the plastic one. So the next thing we're gonna be taking off is your PCV system. And I was having such a hard time trying to show you guys on the engine, I looked up this diagram that shows everything that we're gonna be taking off. So where we're gonna start is right up in front here. Um, these two Allen bolts right here are gonna be taking this off, and I'm gonna uh, rotate the engine for you guys so we can kind of see what we're getting into. Be careful that you don't break your oil um, tube here. Make sure you pull up and off. 
Make sure you pull this. What in the world? Make sure you pull this bracket up and off your oil tube so you don't break it. It's really easy to break. When you guys are taking this bracket off, you're gonna see that it's hooked to some vacuum lines. Don't worry about that. We're gonna be plugging them with uh, vacuum caps. So if you see some that are um, on, you can just cut them off. And in this bracket we're removing is the N112 and the N249. Okay, so now that we have that bracket off, you can kind of see what's going on under here. And go ahead and you can remove your uh, dipstick tube here so you don't break it. These things are very fragile. Get it out of the way for us. Okay, so now you see a couple of hoses coming off of the intake. We're going to be taking these off. We're going to this 90 coming out. Um, we're going to be pushing this part off. See how easy it comes out right there? You're going to be keeping this 90 in there unless... Um, you, unless it's cracked and you can, you want to take it out and buy a new one. Um, I think mine is fine, hopefully. Come up from this 90 and we're going to be taking off all this plumbing, all this stuff, all the way up to here. Okay, so we just took off these two hoses and we're going to follow this one up to the top here it comes out the top and we're going to disconnect it from right here okay so we took these off we followed it up we took this piece out of here and now i'm following it over and around to here and it hooks up to this bracket right here so we're going to take so I'm gonna take this nut off right here, and then we're gonna be taking this out, follow this all the way up here, and there's a bracket with a nut we're gonna take off, and that is gonna allow us to get this whole mess out of here. Whew, sheesh. So that mess is out of there. Okay, so now that we have all that out of there, we're gonna be going from this 90 now, if you guys can see that in there. I'm gonna be pulling this off and all this, if you guys can see all this plastic, we're gonna be taking all this off, all the way up to here, even into, this is your diverter valve, I'll just take it off for now, uh, even in to right here. We're gonna take this off. Okay, so I got everything loose. Now we can, so that was the 90, all this stuff. I got all this stuff loose up here. So now we can take all this off. Okay, right, so now we have all that clutter coming off the 90. We have all that out uh, to the top. And now we're gonna be taking off this top piece also. Okay, so now that we're done deleting all the PVC system, we're gonna move on to the EVAP which, you know, if you have your engine out or if you're swapping to a Mark II, you're not gonna have much to take off. Uh, it's on this side of the engine. It's pretty much just this top piece, uh, the, this off. The rest of the EVAP would be on your Mark IV car. So there's your EVAP system. So taking the EVAP system off, we're gonna to need to cap this port um, that's on the intake manifold and go back through to where we took off a couple other ones and cap those too. So with your assortment of um, vacuum caps that I got at, I think I got these at O'Reilly's or somewhere, or you can order them on Amazon. So with your vacuum caps, you know, I'm just gonna put that on there and I'm gonna probably zip tie around that so we have no vacuum leaks. And then we're gonna go back through on the intake underneath and we're gonna vacuum cap those also. But once you, when you're taking this EVAP system off, it was connecting to one of these hard lines. And these hard lines, we can't take those off. But they go all the way over to over here where I just cut these hoses when we were taking off, I think, the combi valve or whatever. So we're going to be taking off these hoses from the hard lines. And the hard lines, I mean, they're welded on there. So we're not going to be able to get those off. So now let's just take off these hoses. 
And then we're gonna come back to the intake where we took off uh, these hoses and we're gonna be plugging those also. And this, you don't need to plug, you can take off uh, this um, line right here, but we're gonna be using that for something else. Oh. Okay, so now we're under the intake and I have this one plugged uh, right now, but we might be running our boost gauge to this one in the future. Um, this one, you need to get a bigger cap to be able to put on this one. And then this one, we're gonna be running a line from here um, to our diverter valve. So uh, down in description, I'll have all the uh, measurements and what size of tubing you need. So we're gonna run this, you know, hide it back here somewhere, and then we're gonna run this and then just have that uh, hook up right in the back. And coming on this side of the intake, this goes to your brake booster. Mine was already broken off, so I need to find another one. Are replacing this just with a hose and coming down here to the 90 coming out I was looking at this close and I have a huge crack in mine so I'm gonna have to order a new one of these and then um, what we're gonna have coming off of this is just a hose it's gonna be coming off to the side of our uh, mark II uh, bay and that's gonna be our catch can so our hose is gonna be going from the catch can over here somewhere it's gonna be going here to the 90 and then from up here is gonna be the other hose. We're gonna have a hose coming here. It's gonna be going over to the end of bay to the catch can. So now I'm probably gonna put the engine up. I'm gonna start cleaning this area up on this side. I'll put the block off plate in and then put the thermostat flange on. Okay, now that we have this surface all cleaned up, I'm gonna be putting my block off plate on and the um, coolant flange. Okay, so now to put the uh, coolant flange on, um, I'm going to be taking out the studs and just using the Allen bolts that were on here. So to take these off, I'm gonna put two uh, nuts on here and then tighten them and then just, you know, back it out. Okay, so now that we have the stud out, I'm going to be using the um, Allen bolts that were in there and they screw in perfectly. So now I'll take the other stud out. Okay, now we got the coolant flange on. Moving um, to the rear of the engine now. So when we took the hard lines off from the combi valve, we had this line in back that we cut. All you need to do, and that's this line right here, all you need to do is plug this line. So with a small vacuum plug, I'm just gonna shove this in there. And then with the hose clamp, I'm gonna hose clamp this so it can't, you know, come out. Okay, so I have that plugged. I have the hose clamp around it. Um, I don't know, if, it, if there's a leak somewhere in my system, you know, I'll change it. But for right now, or if, I, if someone tells me a better way in the comments how to plug this hose, um, let me know. And, but for now, I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay, so now that we have this hose plugged off, that plugs into there and now the diverter valve is here and then so this is another hole we need to plug uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna plug that with yet so uh, it's gonna be a mystery until I find something to plug that with or I need to look it up or if someone can kill me, tell me down in the comments what you use that would be awesome so but plug this hole and then I know some of you are probably looking at this and it's probably looking different than yours this engine came from an automatic and their cooling system will, is a bit different when it's automatic. So um, I'm pretty sure the hose from here is going straight to the, the heater core on the firewall. And I'm gonna be taking probably this one off. Um, this, 
this one is a hard line. I think that you should have probably, if it's a manual car, and it goes all the way around. This is a hard line that goes all the way um, into the engine. So I'm leaving that one, and then I'm probably gonna just take this one off and put a line, put a hose from here to the heater core that on the firewall. So I have no idea. This might be an automatic thing too, coming off of here. I don't know, I might need to get a new um, hard line that goes all the way around and it goes into the engine. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm still probably gonna be researching that because I don't think the manuals uh, have this. So I wanna go around the engine just one last time with you guys. So starting on this side, um, if you guys wanna cap these two hard lines, you can. Um, if you don't want to, it's fine. It, they just go all the way through. On the throttle body, you should have this capped. And then under the intake manifold, um, you know, this one is probably gonna be our boost um, gauge at some point, you know, cap this one off. And this right here, you're gonna have a line going to your uh, diverter valve. And then from the 90 underneath, we're gonna have a hose coming from here. We're gonna go, it's gonna be going out to our catch can. To this side of the engine here, I'm gonna have a hose going to my brake booster. And then these are the hard lines from the other side. You can cap these where you can just leave them open. Up here, from here, I'm gonna have a hose going to our catch can. Make sure you block off that one. And obviously the coolant flange, we have our block off plate from the combi valve. And then going up above, your hockey puck, or whatever you wanna call it up here, we need to make sure we um, plug that. Then the line we cut from the combi valve, make sure that's plugged. Don't forget this one on the intake, you need to plug this one off too. And I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, obviously I'm gonna be waiting for my 90 and going to pick and pull and finding some other parts. So, um, you know, I'll probably update you guys, you know, when I get all this stuff or maybe when we get done with the transmission and putting it in the car, maybe we'll put all that stuff in because we need to have the catch can in to figure out how long the lines are and the radiator in there to figure out how long or where I'm gonna be doing the lines in the front of the engine too. So. I know it was pretty chaotic today. It was really hard to film some of this and I'm learning too. This is my first time, you know, um, stripping the engine down stuff, which was awesome. I cannot believe. Look at all this stuff we got off the engine. Like that is insane. Like that amount of crap came off this engine. So, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope it helps out with taking some of this stuff off the engine for you guys. Down in the description, I'll link all the DIYs that I found online that helped me get through this. Um, you know, putting those together in some of my video, I think this can be a really easy thing to do. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Oh yeah, and one more thing, like if I did anything wrong, I apologize, you know. Um, I'm learning as I go. I was going off of DIYs, which, you know, going off of, um, you know, pictures and texts for me, like I'm not very good at. So that's why I'm making these videos, hopefully to help someone out there that's like me. You know, I wish, it was, I wish this was already done so I didn't have to do it. So if you know how to do it better than me, please, please, you can do it so then I can watch you. That'd be great.